Hi, I'm Sheena Joy. I create macrame textile art and I'm here to simply inspire you to do the same. If that's your jam, subscribe and hit the bell notifications. So I'm going to apologize ahead of time because I'm not going to give any specific measurements for the cord that I'm using. The reason for this is because every antler is different sizes and different shapes. So you just kind of have to wing this one. However, all the knots are pretty basic. Um, and all the patterns I'm using are very standard, so you can easily adapt this one to any antler or branch that you want to use. So working from the center, I started with my first layer and I attached them using Lark's head knots. In this section, I am going to tie alternating square knots that are spaced out. I also decided to taper off the square knots in a V shape. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Also, I'd like to invite you over to my knot tutorial playlist if you are unfamiliar with your knots. Okay, moving along to our second layer here, I'm attaching four cords and I'm going to tie left facing spiral knots all the way down. A spiral knot is pretty much just like a square knot, only you're only focusing on one side as opposed to alternating your working cords. Okay, so I'm going to do several of these until it um, reaches to the point right in the center to form another V-shaped layer. So now I'm working on the other half of this layer here. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing but to the other side. Okay, the way that I had attached it, I wanted it to form a point, so I tied a square knot with two cords on each side of our layer here. And then I had used double half hitches, but um, I gathered the working cords together as lead cords so that it would form just a straight line. I know that's really confusing, but um, I'll show you in a second. So when I tie my first double half hitch, I gathered it in with my right hand and used it as my lead cord and then tied another double half hitch around those two cords and I carried on straight until it formed a point. And of course I did the same thing to the other side. Then I finished it off with a square knot. Okay, so I decided to switch it up and I'm using jute now for our third layer here. I'm going to warn you here, jute is really hard on the hands, so just take care when you're, when you're working with jute. So what I'm doing here for this third layer is I'm going to do a diamond shaped pattern with double half hitches with a square knot in the center of each diamond shape. But first what I'm doing is I'm doing an extra step. You don't have to do this part, this is just me. I'm just tying a row of double half hitches along my Lark's head knots. The reason why I take that extra step is because I really find that it secures your um, Lark's head knots onto your branch or your antler or whatever you're using. I find that it makes it a lot more snug. It's less likely to um, loosen up a bit. I just, I don't know, this is just me. That step is totally optional. Okay, so now that I got that out of the way, I'll just talk a little bit about this pattern. So it's diamond shaped pattern using double half hitches. And then when you're done half the diamond, you tie a square knot right in the center. And then you close it up with more double half hitches to form the diamond shape. It is a very common pattern in macrame. Okay, so I repeated the same process to the other side and then I attached the two pieces together with more double half hitches to form a diamond shape. Okay, I'm on my final layer, and this is the layer that's going to be behind the whole piece. So I'm attaching a long piece of cord using a lark's head knot, and then I'm going to run the center and then tie another lark's head knot using the same cord on the opposite side. Now once that it swags to the shape that you like, I am attaching more cord to the back side using reverse Lark's head knots. So this layer is just entirely of reverse Lark's head knots so that it kind of just fills in the piece from the back. And then I decided to add a little bit more finesse 
and I'm adding just a few little scrap pieces of cord um, and tying lark's head knots right on the outside edge of um, our third layer here. This part's a little time consuming, but I really like the results in the end. So the last thing I'm gonna do is just give them a bit of a trim and make the ends all even. And then using a scrap piece of cord, I am just using as the hanger part on the top so that he could be mounted on a wall. So I'm on TikTok now and I did a fun little dance <laughs> with this piece. Um, so I invite you to come follow me over there. I have a lot of fun on that app. Also, if you like this video, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one.